Hey YouTubers, just a quick follow-up video. Um, today I've got some dry leaves and I just gave this nylon a good buff um, so that it would build up a static electric field and hopefully there we go and you'll be able to see that I can produce the same effect that the beetle shells show uh, with just these dry leaves. Um, what this tells me is that um, the videos that are out there that have uh, plexiglass or plastic or nylon in them, um, even if they're you know a little bit away from the the source, um, there's one out there that has a Aluminum pyramid, I think the static electricity is going from the plexiglass through the pyramid um, up into the, the beetle shells. Uh, there's another one that looks like the wings are hovering over each other. Honestly, I think that's um, a little static electricity and possibly some thread involved because they seem to pivot on one particular axis. Um, go and watch that video again if you want. But here on uh, unfinished wood and there's no static electricity there's no effect okay I want you to know where I stand on this topic um, I am all about doing the research and looking into it but I want you guys to know the truth so um, I also have a microscope I'll be putting some pictures at the end of this video uh, of the in of the underside of these beetle shells um, also, I'll be looking into Victor's uh, old research or his beginning works where um, he looked into beehives and their effect on his sensation, uh, what he could feel in his hand, and their effect on carbon. So uh, that's what you'll see in the next couple videos. Um, I will continue doing research on beetle shells and looking at their microstructures, but probably won't post anything until I get some promising results. Alright, so here's a few pictures for you.